All right, what's up, guys? Um, just a quick video. I was gonna feed my adult red foot, so I'll leave those alone. Oh, you know. Um, so they ate some Missouri tortoise diet yesterday. Pretty much cleaned out their bowls. But I snipped some hibiscus that I have grown in the front, and they seem to love this stuff. So I'm just gonna throw it down here and let them go to town. Um, I also clipped some of my cactus. It is a spineless cactus, but it still seems to have like these hair-like spines. Um, and I hate messing with them in my hands. Doesn't bother the tortoises, but um, I got a couple little pieces of cactus over there pulled for the the uh, yearling redfoots. They don't seem to enjoy the hibiscus leaves as much, but uh, yeah, these guys love it. Tried to plant one in here and they find any way they can to get at the leaves. It's pretty much picked bare from about 10 inches up. I've even seen them climb up, pull the stock down and sit on it and hold it, hold it down with their weight so they could pick the leaves off of it. Um, Bo's over here hunting lizards. We have an invasive species of anole here, anole. And uh, even though my wiener dog is only about 10 inches tall, he thinks he can catch all of them. But this is my mature female. She's only laid eggs for me once, but uh, you know, that's okay. I'm not really set up to deal with them. I tried to make a homemade incubator last time. Uh, one of the eggs molded and the other two just didn't seem to be fertile. And I haven't really seen much mating, um, much mating for, between her and my male, but she does have some white on her back. So back here I filled in with a little dirt and mixed in some diatomaceous earth because ants are a huge problem. And I'm wondering if maybe the male crawled through it and then got on top of her. So who knows. But anyway, haven't had any eggs since that first clutch. Not, uh, not, not too unhappy about that. You know, if I get some eggs that'd be great. But it's not a, it's not a priority right now. Uh, I guess the other two aren't going to come out to eat, but she is a huge eater. She loves anything. Anytime I'm out here, she comes out to see if I'm bringing her food. Uh, go over a little quick glimpse of this. Uh, I got a new project coming up. I'm just trying to get some stuff ready. Lava rock, piece of driftwood, and some chala wood. No big deal. So let's peer down here. I'm gonna come bite my toes. Let's see if we can entice somebody else out. They are definitely toe biters, that's for sure. So I moved some dirt over from my uh, stock tank where I was growing some African grasses and stuff from when we had our leopard tortoises and I replanted some of it here and they have already mowed it down. So they don't seem to like the, the St. Augustine grass here. That's what was in my yard um, before, but they really enjoyed that African grasses mix. And they munch on some of the other stuff, there's some Bermuda grass growing in here. and. I always throw seeds, but I don't know what comes up. So a more grazing species like a leopard or sulcata would probably mow this down pretty well. I don't guess the other ones are going to come out to eat. I'm probably talking too much. Make sure they're not down here. I just have this bin propped up over here just to give them another shady area. Banana trees, they don't tend to like the leaves. But they enjoy their hibiscus. I'm 
having trouble growing it. I was hoping to get another one before the season was over. But uh, it didn't happen, didn't work out. So I feed them what I can and I'll make sure to stock up next year. I actually found there's an organic nursery in my hometown uh, that I haven't been to yet. But I might call and see if they have any hibiscus left. I doubt it. But it's only a few minutes away from my house. But this is the big girl doing her thing. So I appreciate everybody who watches the channel. Uh, Please like and subscribe, leave me any questions or comments, I'll try and answer them. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for this little project I have going on over here. And then I'll also be building or setting up the Redfoot's winter enclosure in my garage. Um, and some upcoming videos. So, stay tuned to the channel, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.